Hello friends, today you are going to learn how to make AI your partner in purchase and contract function. The 10 types of AI prompts every purchase professional must master. There are more than 50 activities that can be performed through AI based on my experience. If you think AI in purchase means just drafting emails or RFQs, you are missing 90% of its power. More than 50 key activities that are usually performed by purchase and contract functions and can be brought under the ambit of 10 types of AI prompts. In fact, there can be more activities if you include three more types of AI prompts like negotiations by the purchase team towards land buying or insurances and sales promotion activities and so on and so forth depending on the industry. The difference between average and world class purchase teams is not experience or how many activities they perform, it is how smartly they are performing such activities and making best use of AI by asking AI the right questions. So this shows the AI brain what all kind of activities, different kind of activities can be performed shown in different colors. These 10 types of AI prompts are as below. One, P2P process execution. P2P means purchase to payment process execution, which includes request for quotations, vendor selection, purchase orders, agreements, inventories, quality control inspection, supplies, follow-up, payment, etc. etc. Two, second type. Costing and rate buildup for negotiations of bought out items. 3. Costing and rate negotiations for SATC, supply, installation, testing, and commissioning kind of projects in any type of industry. 4. Escalation and indexed linked claims of vendors and contracts. 5. ERP, or specifically in this case, SAP risk identification and countermeasures. 6. Vendor governance activities that affect vendor performance. 7. Terms and conditions for negotiating contracts. 8. Activities that enable profitability and value engineering. 9. Audit and compliance. And 10. Strategic decision making. Maybe you can have more different type of prompts, but I thought in the case of purchase, these 10 AI types of prompts are adequate to address 50 activity, 50 plus activities. Yeah. Now, the single most important benefit under each type of AI prompt is like type 1, which was P2P related, faster RFQs, purchase orders, comparisons. Type 2, let me go back to this. Type 2 was costing and rate buildup. Break vendor prices scientifically. Type 3 was costing and rate negotiation for SITC projects. Negotiate SITC projects beyond the lowest quote. Fourth, fourth was related to the escalations and this, through this you can have control escalation. Type 5 was related to the use of ERP and SAP etc. And uh, benefit is Detect ERP SAP leakages. And seven was, uh, uh, six was vendor governance affected vendor performance. So, this how to improve the vendor performance, vendor behavior. Seven was terms and condition and benefit is strengthen the contract, make it risk free. Eighth was profitability and value engineering and benefit is reduce bill of material costs. Ninth one is audit and compliances and benefit is detect overpayments before auditors. And point 10, 10, 10 type of strategic decision making. Example is better strategic decision related to the make and buy or localization versus imports. Now, the uh, while I have indicated only one unique benefits, most important benefit under each type of prompts, there can be 15 different type of benefits that there can be combination with service 50 activities which I had talked about. Most purchase teams use AI randomly, no structure, no framework, no impact on cost, risk or margins. 
that's why results remain cosmetics so the benefits which you can actually achieve are like benefit one cycle time reduction benefit two cost saving and cost avoidance benefit three accuracy and error detection benefit four negotiation leverage improvement benefit five compliance benefit six risk identification benefit seven standardization uh, so there are different kind of benefits which can accrue to your organization these are summarized in this image now benefit eight is for example vendor performance improvement benefit nine is leakage prevention but benefit 10 is better decision quality 11 is audit readiness and traceability benefit 12 is productivity and benefit is benefit 3 margin protection benefit 14 is faster approval and benefit 15 is knowledge retention in my at my end in my homework i have categorized all these activities meticulously and under each type i have captured what kind of benefit is applicable usually i have captured three more unique benefits which are there under each activities now the primary objective of these 10 types of ai prompts i am just giving a summary overview once again type 1 p2p process reduce cycle time manual efforts and error across rfqs two second type first principle costing prompts for the bottled items break vendor price into materials labor over it and profits for strong division in fact i have got 11 different 10 to 11 different type of cost elements three sitc projects uh, negotiation prompts uh, these are validated material consumption manpower productivity and margin in sitc contract let let me go back to uh, type 2 where it is bottled uh, negotiation for the bottled item actually this 10 to 11 cost elements are possible where the first principle costing is feasible it may not be always feasible for example for the absolute raw materials like steel etc type 4 escalation de-escalation control price divisions using indices benchmarks and contract clauses these indices could be from the government these could be from the industries or this could be the trade market Five, uh, fifth is erp and sap risk intelligence prompts this is the most important and because this is very difficult to uh, the, each erp let's say in the case of sap they are like different models they are like each one is like an ocean there are for example in the sap there can be 70 80 90000 type of transaction there can be hundreds and hundreds of tables and thousands and thousands of fields so ai can enable help you detect hidden leakages non compliance and data risk inside erp transactions this is the most ignored aspect. Sixth is vendor governance and performance. Improve vendor reliability, cost discipline, and long term performances, whether you are using ERP or you are not using ERP, in case you got strong database. Robust terms and conditions prompts. Project organization through strong commercial, legal, and compliance clauses. Eighth, profitability value engineering. Reduce below material costs using compromising quality without, without compromising quality or statutory compliances. Then Point number nine is audit and compliance prompts. Identify overpayment, control gaps, and audit red flag productively. Ten strategic decision making prompts like AI can help you in making right decisions about make or buy or localization versus imports, vendor consolidation decisions. Call to action: Learn the prompts, upgrade your purchase decisions, follow my YouTube page and Instagram post to learn about robust ppp based ai prompts that actually work in the ideal purchase environments ppp means perfect prompting procedure about which there is already a video in case of any challenge you can reach out to me at my phone number and email id your journey into developing perfect prompting procedure starts now let's begin you can also join my free periodic webinars to learn more about ai thank you very much for listening